Have you ever thought, man, I wish I could turn this chicken into a mineral amendment for my cabbages? <laughs> I know I have. Well, what if I told you that not only is your dream possible, but you can do it with virtually no money in as little as two weeks. If you want to see how, make sure you watch to the end of the video because as simple as this process is, there really are three easy mistakes that you'll want to avoid. So stay to the end of the video so I can tell you about those. But before we get into that, perhaps you're wondering why you might want to make a mineral extract to feed your precious plants. We all know there's nothing worse than floppy cabbages or limp zucchinis, but there's also really nothing worse than spindly tomato vines that split under the pressure of their own weight, or giant sunflowers that can't hold up their beautiful heads like those back there. Minerals found in eggshells and bones, such as calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium, as well as other trace minerals, help fortify the cell structure of your plants. It's like you're strengthening their skeletons by feeding them someone else's skeleton. That sounded weirder than I thought it would. All you need to make this valuable garden amendment are a few bones, some eggshells, and some vinegar. Here I've got an assortment of bones, actually just a single chicken carcass, and a bunch of eggshells. These are some eggs that my kids ate over the course of a single day. My kids eat a lot of eggs. Here, I've got a batch of mineral extract that is on its second extraction. We've got beef bones, chicken bones, pork bones, and eggshells in here. And here, I have fully extracted mineral extract, ready to be diluted and watered into my plants. Now, the method for making this is incredibly simple. You take your bones or eggshells, pop them in a container, preferably one that's glass or ceramic, but plastic works as well, as this is what we're doing here. Just make sure that you don't use metal containers since the vinegar will react with the metal and contaminate your extraction. Once you've put the bones in the container, fill it up with vinegar so that the bones are fully covered. Then allow it to sit for at least two weeks. Once you've done this first extraction, you can get a second extraction by repeating the same process. After this, you can crush up the bones into a fine powder or you can make them into biochar and compost them. Now you could simply crush up the shells and bones and scatter them throughout your garden, something like this. But it would act as a slow release form of minerals. Still valuable, but with a vinegar extract, you get the benefits of quickly bioavailable minerals for your plants. Now, I said I was going to mention a few mistakes that you can make. The first mistake is not cleaning off the bones or the egg shells enough. So this chicken carcass still has meat on it. We just ate off of it tonight. And what I'm gonna do is actually just make a batch of bone broth with this, some chicken stock. And then afterward, I'm gonna clean off the bones all the way. So there's no meat, no fat, no cartilage. Same with the eggs. You wanna make sure that there's no white kind of or, or yolk left over. Now you might even want to throw the bones or the eggshells on the grill. This is what I did for this mineral extract, just to kind of clean them off fully and make sure there's no cartilage or fat remaining. The second mistake that you can make is filling your brewing vessel too high. Now this one I actually did fill a, fill a little bit too high. And the reason for that is that you can, if you fill it up too high, it will bubble over. And you, what can result is a kind of a nasty mess of bone and bone extract and vinegar on your floor. Anyway, that's why I keep it in this. And there you go. So don't fill it up too high because these bones will off gas and uh, create bubbles and it'll leak. The third mistake that you can make very easily is not diluting this enough. Now this is an extremely potent garden amendment. You'll want to dilute this one to 500 or even one to a thousand in water. That is how powerful it is. If you want to get technical in a watering can like this, two gallons, you'll just want to give it a nice little skabloosh, something like that. A couple tablespoons and then fill it up with water. Water that in. You can water this into your plants every week, once a week, or a couple times a week. 
but you don't want to do it much more than that so that your plants actually have the chance to absorb all the nutrients. Guys, that's how easy this mineral amendment is. I really hope that you try it and strengthen your plants, you know? It's really too easy to not try. So make some vinegar extracted mineral amendment for your garden. It's nearly free. You won't regret it. Your plants won't regret it. Get it done.